New York or LA? New, New, York. York. New, New York. York. New York. My favorite city ever. Oh. Okay, so it looks like a unison in New York there. Uh, okay, high heels or sneakers? Heels. Sneakers. Heels. Sneakers. Sneakers. Heels. Oh! <laughs> in the middle. Bit a little bit more divided on that one. Um, summer or winter? Summer. Ooh, summer. Summer, I hate winter. Summer. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wow! <laughs> They're so good. Okay, um, do you guys, who is your music idol? Ooh. Alanis Morissette. Stevie Wonder. Alex Turner from Archie Boogie. Lonnie Del Rey. I can't pick. Miranda Lambert. <laughs> All totally different. Um, okay, each one of your go-to shower songs. Oh, oh right now, God. it's, um, Lord I Need You. You? I don't know. Maybe something from our album. I honestly can't think of what I sing in the shower these days. Um, honestly, mine's Shower by Becky G, because why wouldn't you listen to that? <laughs> Instagram or Snapchat? Instagram oh. or Snapchat. Oh, Snapchat. Oh, what was the question? Instagram, Instagram or Snapchat. Or Snapchat. Oh, uh, Snapchat. 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 More Snapchat. casual. Snapchat. Yeah. No pressure on Snapchat. <laughs> okay, awesome. Um, dogs or cats? Dogs. Um, uh, not really either. Um, I'm gonna say kittens and then dogs. Just being honest. Yeah. Dogs. Dogs or cats? Lisa, you like cats? Oh, 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 animals. Um, dogs. <laughs> Dogs. Okay, great. Um, what is your go-to Starbucks drink? We never go to Starbucks, yeah, but for like drinks, mine would be matcha green tea. Okay. At any coffee shop, I always get coffee and almond milk. Super simple, super delicious. Um, I can't drink coffee. It makes me shake, but I'm Um, some sort of iced latte with like caramel or like hazelnut, something like that. Caffeine gives me anxiety. Um, you have to get caffeine. Water. Drink. I want to drink. <laughs> yeah, water. Oh, okay, we've so got some water drinkers here. Um, okay, what is your guys' favorite food? Mm. Oh, Ooh. I can Oh, this. probably like sweet potatoes right now. Okay, I'm a huge freak for salt. I'm salt. a huge freak. So it's, it's definitely a two-way tie between french fries and popcorn. Oh, so um, I love a good cheeseburger. <laughs> I um, love cheeseburgers. I pasta, love a good cheeseburger. I love all pasta. Um, I think my favorite food is actually legitimate New York pizza. Yes. Um. Tacos usually, but I eat popcorn every day, so I'm gonna have to go with popcorn. Okay, great. Um, okay, this one's really fun. I don't know how you guys want to do this one, but what emoji best fits your personality? And then choose an emoji for the sister next to you. Okay, okay, okay so, so to your right. To okay, your so right. mine is definitely the cat. That's like, hmm, it looks like it's gonna like scratch you a little bit. Cat <laughs> emoji, and then for cat, I'm gonna pick um, smile with like. Yeah. <laughs> okay, mine I think is like that one that's like, <laughs> kind of looks like it's like shocked. Oh. Um, because <laughs> I'm kind of always like really energetic. And then Danny, I actually have this emoji for Danny's name in my phone. It's the one that's like, Bleh. it has like the tongue. Aww. It's like, yeah, True. I like that one. Unfortunately, that does describe me though. Or like the, <laughs> the party hat with the confetti. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then Lauren is either like the the face that's like really mad and kind of like smirking at you, but like madly, you know, like the, like where it's like looking to the side. And yes. Like, no. Or the one that has no mouth and is like. <laughs> 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 I was gonna say, Christine said, like, I like how insanely supportive they are. 
I was gonna say that too, and then I was gonna say what Lauren said, and then I was gonna say what Lauren said. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with the hilarious pictures that they tweet me all the time. Yeah, oh my that's, gosh, that's, that's so fun. Some of those memes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, awesome. So, kind of fun TBT. What was your guys' AIM screen names when you were younger? Oh my gosh. <gasps> okay, name. so I was obsessed with the band Click Five. And one time I was watching one of their videos, and then I fell off my chair. What? I was like 15, okay? So my screen name was Click 5 Makes Me Faint. So basically she's saying she's the original fangirl. Um, yes. Before the 70s or something. Um, so, okay, mine was, um, was, I don't know why it was so weird, but I did um, Jelly with an I. Jelly Beans, and then KC, because my initials are Catherine yeah, Cimarelli. Jelly Beans. <laughs> Jelly Beans, KC, don't um, know why. I don't think I was really born when I was born. So, like, okay, skip her. Like, <laughs> yeah, I wasn't really born. Yeah, either. we weren't like in that. Mine was Blue Swimmer Girl. Because <laughs> <laughs> blue is a favorite color, and I love swimming. I had one, have it? and I can't remember it. I literally, Wait, I know I used to, I don't know. Oh, it was Green Lover oh, 82. I can't even think about Green Lover 82. Why does that have to be a color? Green Lover 82. I don't know. your first email was Jazz Girl. Like, that wasn't my thing. Oh, okay. Hold on. This is not an AIM name or whatever, but Lauren had an email that was Frog Girl 101. It was one thing just like Frog Girl. Okay, what is each of your favorite songs from your new album? Ah, okay, it's like switched all the time. For me, right now, I'm gonna say that it's Up at Night. Mine is the tie between Sunsets and Heartbreak and, um, which I always say S, Sunsets and Heartbreaks, even on stage you sometimes, know, Sunset Oops, and, and Acid Rain. rain. Oh, right now, it's probably I Know You Know It. I have the same one as Stress and Heartbreak and Acid Rain. Fall Back or Before October's Club? Um, I'm gonna go with Braveheart or Headlight. Awesome. Okay, now time for some audience questions. Yay! Ooh, audience questions. Okay, this one's really funny from Nicholas. I do not know where this question came from. How would you react if you saw a spider? Oh, oh wow. <laughs> you How would you react if you saw oh, a spider? Oh, I would be like, oh, there's a spider over there. Well, Did you see the well, we already already know. Yeah, because I don't get scared of spiders really, so I like to see them. We already them. know from, yeah, it's an episode of us, but um, yeah, if you watch our show on Go90, everyone's screaming, right? right? As yeah. 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 There happened to be a freaking wolf spider on my leg in the Ow! studio. Oh, Basically, so they all shriek and then stand up and run. I basically yeah. jump on any couch. Right? Unless, yeah. unless I'm like the oldest person there, then I'm like, oh, I gotta get it. But otherwise, I'm like, Ow! no, either I freak out and I start screaming or I go into shock and I can't like do anything. Like, how she does. The Comcast guy was setting up our internet and I'm sitting in the kitchen. There's a spider on the ground. I'm sitting there. I'm like, he's like, are you okay? I'm like, no, there, there's a spider. He's like, oh, I'll kill it. I was like, thank you. <laughs> awesome. Okay, that's really fun. Another question. What is your favorite scene from the show? Oh, let's go down the line. What's your favorite scene from the show? Um, I like the um, square dancing one because we were all like kind of like shocked, especially Amy. So that was I was really shocked. Oh, wait. There was something where like Lauren and Danny were like fighting. What? Oh, and the back salt's one of Lisa. <laughs> okay. Um, I can't think. There's a lot. Oh, I like when we went to uh, pottery and painted stuff that was with. Oh, it's not even. <laughs> oh my god. All right, and if not that, then there was a really funny scene. I don't remember. I laughed a lot, but I watched it and I forgot which one. There's a lot of really funny scenes. Um. I like the thing where we went to the grocery store oh and he was in the cart. Oh, that was it! Yes. I was just gonna pick that one too. I, I like watching myself. myself. Amy and I are unpacking our room, and then when we go to the grocery store, we're trying to get the ingredients. I literally just watched it last night. Oh, my favorite is when um, um, we're sitting in Dana's room, and then my mom's just like, oh, come help us move, and then half of us don't even live there, and we're like, okay. I'm like, I don't even go here. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, another really fun question. What is your guys' favorite place in the world? Uh, Easy answer. Rio. Go. Um, I think oh, my favorite God. place in the world is um, Tennessee. A lot of places in Tennessee Oregon. are my favorite place in the world. Yeah, my favorite place to live is Tennessee by far, but my favorite place to visit is Madrid, Spain. Oh gosh. Uh, either, well yeah, like Catherine, my favorite place to live is Tennessee, but I think it's probably New York City. Like, um, America as a whole and Rio. Oh. Yeah, Tennessee <laughs> to live and Rio to visit. Um, I would go with, yeah, Tennessee to live and um, <clears throat> Madrid to visit. 
Awesome. Okay, what was your inspiration for the album? Ooh, I mean, there wasn't like one inspiration. It's kind of just like all the songs are really personal and they're all from real stories. So everyone who the stories are about was our inspiration, I guess. It's just our lives. We just like constantly ask our, ourselves this question, what do you need a song about? Yeah. And it's like, oh, I need a song about a guy who's like totally playing through emotions. Or I really need a song about God. We did one about God on this album. I really need a song about an uplifting song. A confused about like a friend ditching to a cute crush song. We literally just answered that question. Like they have saying, you need to make a crush song. I mean, so we're make it stronger, but yeah, it's like, what, yeah, like, what do you need a song about in your life right now? And also, musically, we were kind of inspired by a lot of country artists, like, um, not necessarily like, directly, because obviously it's not like 100% country album, but there's a lot of country on I was inspired a lot by Sam Hunt, even though it didn't end up sounding anything. That's a cool thing. Whenever we're inspired by an artist, we never make it sound just like them. We kind of just get inspired and then make something that's like, almost um, nothing like them, but it's like... But somehow so it was inspired by Yeah. If we don't want to, like, copy, that'd be kind of weird. Yeah. Okay, this one's a really fun question. Who is your celebrity crush? Uh, okay, sorry, Christina. Um, yeah, I don't have one. Who is my yeah, celebrity? I mean, I've actually met or been around a lot of celebrities, and I realize I don't like any of them. I just like, uh, I only uh, like, no thanks. Uh, I just like real boys. Oh! Uh, uh, I have no idea. No, it's not too many to count. Uh, I've never had to go with Catherine, I just like real boys, honestly. Oh, I real know. Real boys are so great. Like, honestly, they're so great. So much yeah, better. I don't really have a celebrity crush, but it used to be Lee and Faith. Um, I've always loved Sylvester Stallone. I don't care how weird that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't care. I don't I'm have to go with um, Chris. What's his name? Chris, Chris Evans Chris or Evans. Tim Tebow. Probably Tim Tebow. Oh, and then Chris oh, Evans. Okay, Evans. I got one. Chris Pine. Ooh. Oh, and I had a water polo coat that looked just like him. That was true. Flat. True Flat. story. Flat. 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 Flat.